Hello, friends. A big warm welcome to all of you to your very own channel, Amu and You, where I am Amu and I'm ready with another beautiful story to narrate to you. Let me wish you a very happy Dashera as the festival is just around the corner. And in this festive mood, I really wanted to tell you the story of the festival, Dashera. Why do we call it Navaratri? And why do we worship Goddess Durga during this festival? So the story today is the story of Navaratri and the story of Goddess Durga. Long, long time ago, there was a demon king named Brahma. He decided to do severe penance. It was such a severe penance because he wanted something very, very special. God of fire appeared seeing his penance and asked him, what did he want? He said that he wanted a progeny, a child that would be so powerful that he could not be killed by either man or God. Now, God of Father said, we, I cannot do anything. You have to pray to Lord Brahma for this. And maybe Lord Brahma can only help you. So he started praying to Lord Brahma. Seeing his severe penance, Brahma was also very pleased. He appeared and he asked him, hearing his request, Lord Brahma granted him the boon. The demon Brahma was very happy. And very soon, he and his wife became proud parents of a demon child. And a demon child, a very special demon child, who was half demon and half buffalo. They named him Mahishasur. Mahish means buffalo, Asur means demon. So a buffalo demon. Very soon after the birth, both the parents died and he was brought up by his aunt. He grew up big and strong because he had been endowed with so much power and strength by Lord Brahma's boon. He really, really grew up so strong that he conquered the whole world. But after conquering the earth, he was not satisfied. With his power, he wanted to conquer the heaven, the gods as well. He started his penance now. And the penance was again so severe like his father did that Lord Brahma appeared again. And after he appeared, Mahishasur asked him the same boon that I want, the boon that no man or even God can kill me. Lord Brahma granted him that boon and disappeared. Now Mahishasur became so powerful and confident that he thought he was invincible. No one could defeat him. And after, like I said, conquering the earth, he decided to go and overpower the gods. His cruelty had no bounds. He would kill anyone who would oppose him. Seeing him march towards the heavens, all the gods became very worried. They all ran to Lord Brahma asking for help. They said that your boon has made him so arrogant. He is coming to conquer us, to kill us. Lord Brahma said, don't you worry. I will look into it. Lord Brahma went to Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu and all three super gods decided, discussed, decided and emitted lights from each of them and the light together came and 
formed a creation. It was a beautiful woman who had an amazing aura and 10 hands. The gods seeing that creation were in such awe that they all gifted their individual precious special weapons to this creation. And thus this creation named Adi Shakti Durga got to hold all weapons that she got from the different gods in all her 10 hands. Then she was told about Mahishasur. She said, okay, I'm going to do my duty. And she marched towards the earth to meet Mahishasur on his way. She stopped him and said that Mahishasur, you are so cruel and you are so, so confident of your power. You are misusing it. You have misused it. And now it has gone into your head. You are going to kill the gods. Have you gone crazy? See some sense. Go back. Mahishasur laughed aloud and said, What? Go back? Who, me? Forget it. You can't stop me. Durga said, don't you dare me. I am telling you, giving you this same suggestion or else you may regret later. Mahishasur said, okay, fine. You woman, you think that you can really defeat me? You are so beautiful. I propose to you. Will you marry me? He was so arrogant. Well, I'm really, really bewitched by, with your beauty. Will you marry me? Adi Shakti smiled and she said, okay, let's have a fight. And if you defeat me, then I promise I will marry you. My Shasur laughed out aloud with all his arrogance and courage and said, yes, it's a matter of time that I get you as my wife. And the battle began. The fight between Mahishasur and Adi Shakti began. They started fighting. The fight went on for days and nights continuously. For nine days and nine nights, the fight was on. And that is why we call this Navaratri nine nights. On the 10th day, Mahishasur could not stand in front of Adi Shakti, Ma Durga anymore. And Goddess Durga killed him with her trident and sword. And her vehicle that she was riding, a lion, fierce lion, killed the buffalo that Mahishasur was sitting on. And that was the end of cruel Mahishasur and his buffalo. Because Mahishasur was killed by Madurga, she got her name Mahishasur Mardini, the killer of Mahishasur. And that 10th day is celebrated as the Shehra, signifying the victory of the good over evil. Just like we celebrate the Shehra to remember the victory of Lord Ram over the evil king of Lanka, Ravan, who had kidnapped Sita. I have narrated this story in one of my videos. If you want, you can check it out. Now, this day, Dashera is celebrated with huge joy and pomp and show in West Bengal in, and in all the other eastern parts of our country.
It is celebrated in other parts of the country too, but the Eastern parts are very much more into celebrating the festival of Goddess Durga. They celebrated it for 10 days. And after 10 days, they do a visarjan of the idol of Goddess Durga. Visarjan means they take the idol and drop the idol into a water body, bidding her farewell and welcoming her again to come visit them the forthcoming year. So this is the story of the Shehra and Navaratri. We worship Goddess Durga because she is the Adi Shakti. She is the symbol of Shakti. And in all these nine days, we worship her nine forms. It is said that Goddess Durga has nine forms. The first form is named as Shail Putri because she was born as the daughter of the king of the mountains. Shell means mountain. Here she's seen holding a trident, a trishul, a lotus flower riding a bullock. The next form we know her as is Brahmachari, where young Durga is enamored by the tapasvi, Adi Yogi, Lord Shiv, and wants him as her husband. So she performs severe tapasya, severe penance, kathor tapasya, to get him as her husband. Here she is seen with her jap mala in her hand and a kamandal, uh, an oblong water pot. The third form we worship, Madurga, is named Chandraghanta. Chandra means moon, so she has a half moon on her forehead and has ten hands holding a lotus flower, bow and arrow, a bell, a sword, an oblong water pot, the Japamala chanting thread, mace and a trident. The next form that we worship her as is named Kushmanda, where she is seen to have eight hands holding an oblong water pot, bow and arrow, a lotus flower, chakra, mace and a jar filled with nectar, Amrit Kalash, and she's riding a lion here. The next form is named Skandamata, meaning mother of Lord Kartike. She has four hands here, two hands holding lotuses and little Kartike sitting on her lap. The next form is named Katyayini, holding a sword and lotus flower. One hand shows Abhay Mudra, fearlessness. And the other hand is in Varada Mudra, showing Patience. The seventh form of Madurka is Kalratri, where it is said she protects her devotees and removes all drops of darkness in, from their lives. She has three eyes here, four hands holding an iron weapon, a lohakata, and a sword, and rides a donkey. Then is the form Mahagauri where she has four hands, holding a trident, a small-headed drum named Damru, rides a bullock, and wears complete white, everything white. The last form we worship her as is named Siddhidatri, where she has four hands, a conch, shank, chakra, mace, and a lotus flower. She's sitting on a lotus flower, in her divine, divine form and blessing all of us. That is why we call this festival as Navaratri, worshipping all the nine forms of Adi Shakti, Goddess Durga, who is said to be a symbol of strength, Shakti. And we worship her to seek her blessings to protect us in our lives. If you like the story, children, please like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon to get all the updates of the channel. Your comments are always more than welcome, and I reply to each one of them. 
Thank you for listening to the story and watching the video. I'll come back to you soon with another one. And let me wish you a happy Dashera and a beautiful festive season, Navrat.